Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Betty Koshi from Software Development Team. Here it is going on Biotech Cloud Training. If you have any queries, you can ask me by the end of this training session. We will have an interactive session. So let's start with an introduction. We already have done uh, training regarding the biotech features and the functionality. Anyhow, I would like to give an, a small introduction for those who have not attended that meeting. So you will get into this easily. Today, we are going to introduce about how to create a company, how to create the user under the company, how to connect a device to the biotech cloud, and how to add users and synchronize with that device. So before that, I will give an introduction about the biotech cloud. Biotech cloud is a cloud-based system, uh, the, which is similar to the biotech application. Hope you are some of you are familiar with the biotech application. So this is a similar kind of application only that we deployed in the AWS. Uh, so a, a mobile application also coming coming with this my biotech cloud application. Uh, there you can track the employees. This is mainly for the employees who is working on site. These are the features that we are providing from the Biotech Cloud, multiple location assignment, live employee location tracking, real-time attendance calculation, leave management, mobile application and geofencing, approvals, daily activity monitoring, attendance policy management. Uh, through the Biotech Cloud application, you can track the employee attendance and all. It's a attendance management solution. So you can assign, uh, you can connect the device to the software and you can uh, get the attendance from this device. So it will push the data on real time basis. And you can add employees to the uh, soft, uh, means particular location and uh, let them, you can allow them to punch from that particular device. These are the basic features that we are providing from the cloud and it is deployed in the cloud. So we cannot need to, uh, don't want to keep a separate server for this. We will maintain all these things. And uh, in addition to that, we have an approval system also. Uh, in this, uh, it will comes with the uh, leave, applic leave application, manual, log, uh, overtime, all this comes under this approval. So we can set a hierarchy to who needs to be approved this leave and all. So people can approve based on the hierarchy level. Uh, leave management system and uh, all we are providing. So employees can apply for the leave through this application. This all we covered in the previous session. So uh, we would like to move on these points now. How to create a company? This uh, this is what we would like to explain today. This is our domain name. Uh, from here, you can create your company. This you can achieve through just sign up from here. First, you go to the, our main domain, biotankcloud.com, and then sign up. Here you can give the uh, email ID, uh, your phone number, password, uh, and all. And you'll receive a mail like this. So you can activate your account from here. This is the process that we are creating a company. Once you create the company, it will look like this. I will show you. You can give your company name here, mail ID, and your password. It looks like this. So this is the only uh, steps you need to follow to, to create a company. Just go to the URL. Uh, means you need to go to the main domain like biotemcloud.com and then sign up. You, you can create one company. You, you need to give your company name and you will get a credential also. If you want to create a company under a vendor, you just go to the vendor company. I will explain. Suppose you want to uh, join under a company named Setke Dubai. You want to join under this company. 
you just go to this url means the uh, corresponding url of that particular company like setketubai.biotechcloud.com for each of the company you will get a uh, unique domain name also so you can go to the uh, domain name and just sign up from here enter a phone number password you will receive a mail see we receive a mail just click on this and you can activate your account from the mail and thereafter you can create your company here like ABC test then you can log in with your ID and you can give your password here see this is how simple we can create a company uh, just create a company name ABC test.com see this is your new company this is how we can create a company and you can see you can add all the employees here uh, this is how we created the company uh, if you look at here you can see the company that which we created uh, so you can add your employees here just need to create the employee id first name and all i would like to create one id Before that, you need to create an area, add an area. Then assign the employee to that particular area. This is how we can add an employee and you can create the department position, everything from here and if you want to sync this employee to the device, you just need to connect the device first with the software. Uh, I will explain you how we can connect a device with the software. We will show a video how we can connect uh, a device with the software. So we, all the employees will sync to that particular device, which is assigned to the same area. You need to as all uh, the what you need to do is uh, you need to assign the device and the employee to the same area, though, so it will sync to the device. So I will demonstrate how how we can add the employees to the device. I'll share the video also. Just go to the uh, system settings and cloud settings. All you need to do is you just uh, give your company company details here like your company you will obtain a url right so you can give that url here and just enable the https again https now we disable we need to restart the system so that the device will get connected with the software. This space wait for restarting the system. I think we disable the HTTPS now. Or we need to we need to have enable the HTTPS so that we can see the device again into the software. And we disable the HTTPS here. We have to enable this one here, and let's wait for restart the system so yeah I, I hope you understand how we can connect you just go to the device cloud server settings and just select the just give the domain name the uh you will, all the people will get all the company will get a unique domain name so you can give the domain name there and just enable the https and you will get you will be connected with the uh, software so uh so this is how a device is connected with our software so you just need to assign the area to particular device. See, from here you can create uh, an area and from you can assign an area for the device. So all the employees which is assigned to 
assigned to this particular area will be uh, synced with this particular device. So they can punch from that device. This is how our system work. So uh, you should uh, you should be assigned all the employees to that particular area. See uh, here. This is uh, what we are using in our office. So you can see, uh, see we assigned all the employees to our uh, particular area like a DHP, ATT. So, uh, and our device is also connected to that particular area. And so there all the employees will sync to that device. This is how we are connecting the uh, device. I will introduce you how to create a uh, winter and door. Now, as you can see, this is the company that we created under the company Seke Dubai. So, Seke Dubai is now become the vendor company and the ABC test account is the sub company. You can see here you and if you go to the Seke Dubai company, you can see this ABC test account company in Seke account, Seke Dubai account. So, I would like to open the Seke Dubai account. So, you can see this company under Seke Dubai. See, you can see the ABC test account under the Seke Dubai company. So, Seke Dubai is the vendor of this ABC test account. So, uh, they can also manage this ABC test account company. Uh, and here we have another option also, join a company. We should go to the account like Seke Dubai. Pattern Cloud and then try to log in with the particular ID. So you could be able to log in from here. This is how it looks. So you can be able to log in from here. So the only thing you need to keep in mind that you need to uh, log, go to the domain you, you for the vendor company domain and then you try to log in with your credential. Uh, we would like to introduce you the, the topic like how to join to a company. So I just covered the topics like how to be a vendor, how to be joined under a vendor company. And next we are going to cover how to join to a other join to other company as an associate. This is the option to join to a company. So ABC text account. So I would like to join a company named ZK. This is a company that we have. I would like to join to this company. So I'm going to uh, give a request. I would like to join your company. So uh, I will send a mail like this. So the vendor company, the company which I give ZK Teco Dubai will receive a mail that a client is you want client want to join to your company would like to join to your company. Uh, you want to approve or not? So this is the mail you they receive. So if you go to uh, here, you can see this company. We give, we have given a request to this company to join to this company. So you can see here uh, the company that company details. Uh, we, you can be an associate of that company also. So they this is how you can be a uh, joined to a company. So we covered the topics like uh, how to be add under the vendor and how to join uh, to a company. The next topic I would like to cover is uh, how to create a user. Uh, you can create a user from your interface. Like uh, we have an option to invite the user. From here, you can invite the user. You just get the email ID of the particular person and give the here and form. So you will receive a mail like this and you just need to activate your account from here. You get an option to create the password. So next time, if you want to log in, uh, you can use your own e email ID and uh, 
uh, password to log into this particular domain. Let's try with this domain domain again. Log out. I will show you how you can log in with your username and password. Uh, just log in from here. You just go to the ABC test. We created a user like uh, this user we created. So we have to go to the domain, particular domain like ABC test account, and uh, then log in with your username and password, ABC test. Then you can be entered into the particular domain. Here you cannot see all the modules because the admin of the ABC test account company needs to give some privilege. Then only you can access particular mo modules. So we have that facility also. We cannot give all the privilege to. Uh, we we don't want if you want don't want to give all the privilege to the user. You can hide it from the uh, particular users. You can set the uh, level of of level of accessibility also so so i am going to give some privilege uh, for this particular user uh, from the main account so we just need to check the user this is our user so now he don't have any privilege to access our module so just we need to give Either we can give him a privilege like super user or we can create some groups which are the modules he needs to be accessed. So just create a group like this, group one. And from here, you can give the accessibility like personal. If you want to give the privilege for seeing all the modules in the personal uh, module, you can click here and you can check here. If you want to hide some of the modules, you can hide from here and see. If you don't want to show him the attendance, just disable from here. Now, now we disable the accessibility towards the attendance. So let's see how it looks from his account. So again, I'm going to so so we created a group. So next, we need to assign that particular group to this person from here, group one. So let's see how it look like from this account. Hope you can understand how we can give the particular accessibility towards a uh, user. So if you want to disable, you can disable from there. This is how we create an, an user. So I think we covered all the topics. Okay, thank you once, thank you once again. Uh, thank you for your cooperation and uh, your patience also. I know uh, some delays have happened. Sorry for the delay. If you want, uh, we will conduct another session too. So, based on your request, I uh, hope uh, you all understand about the topics we cover. And now it's time to wind up. Thank you all.